everybody. My name is Morgan and this is my son Sullivan. Today we're going to bake some apple flapjacks and this is from the American Woman's Cookbook from 1943. You got sugar on your fingers? This little man is in charge of mixing up our dry ingredients. We have flour, baking powder, and cinnamon. I added some salt. There are no measurements for cinnamon or the salt so just a little bit will do ya. Now we're going to move on to mixing up our butter and our sugar. We're going to cream this butter together with our sugar. Alright. Set that aside for now. Once your butter is all creamed, we're going to go ahead and take our apples here. Now we have green apples. This little man loves apples. He already ate this one. So I chopped them up small and we're going to put them in our food processor because we want them to be mint. So this little man is going to press the button. Can you press it? Ready? Whoa. Look. More? Yeah. All right. All done. So our butter and our sugar is all mixed together. Sullivan's going to mix up our eggs. We're going to pour them into our butter. Now mix those together. Mix, mix, mix. Now once all of your butter and your eggs are mixed together, we're going to pour them into our flour. Ooh, are you going to mix with that? Good idea. You can mix with your whisk, that way you don't get any lumps. Mix, 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 mix. Oh no! Ah, keep it in the bowl. Now you haven't added any milk yet. And this is because we're not sure how much we need to add. There's no measurement for milk, it's just milk. So we're going to pour in some of our milk. Mix it up. More? He's right, we need more milk. Let's pour in some more milk. And mix some more. Oh! <laughs> so now it's pretty thick, which is okay. What are we going to add next? He said apples. 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 All of these guys go right in there. Fold them all in there. Hi, Sullivan. You're all done? Alright, well he's all done. I'm gonna keep baking. Hey! While he's running around in circles, I'm gonna add a little bit more milk to this because it's still a little thick. We want it to drip off of our spatula and be able to spread a little bit when it goes into the frying pan. Mama. Sullivan? No. No? He's going to go play in his room. <laughs> so I'm going to add just another quarter cup of milk here. So far it's been one and a quarter cups. And all together that looks perfect. I think all you need to do is have a cup and a quarter of milk and it should be great. Now that it's all nice and smooth, I'm going to go ahead and go grab my griddle and we're going to fry up some hot cakes. Okay, so I have a normal griddle here. If you have a cast iron skillet, I recommend you use that. But I can't use it because I have a glass top stove and that really bums me out. We're going to start by putting our pan at about 220 degrees. You don't want it too hot because your pancakes will cook too fast. And then you'll have a really burnt, crispy outside but gooey on the inside. Once our butter is melted, we're going to go ahead and take our ice cream scooper here. A little guy for my little man. We're going to scoop little pancakes. Looks like I can fit five in this pan. Now we're going to let these cook. You know that they're ready to flip when they have bubbles all on top. You can kind of see them pop. Come on, guys. You can do it. <laughs> we can start to see a little bit of bubbles. We're almost there. I have my little mini spatula here to flip these little guys over. Almost. I always need to take a peek. All right, here we go. When you flip, you just have to commit. Apparently, I have some hot spots in this pan. The 
edges seem to be hotter than the center. Poor design. We're just going to give these another minute on this side and they're all done. And I'm going to fry up the rest of my batter. Sullivan said to keep in mind, you don't have to worry about buttering or panning your pan anymore. You are all set. They're not going to stick from here on out. That one little addition of butter is all you need. Okay, so to top off these delicious hot cakes, we're going to make some whipped cream. Yep, so I'm gonna pour some into... Lele. Lele. <laughs> what is that? Lele. What is going on? We're gonna pour some whipped cream into our mason jar here. Just about a quarter cup. That might be more than a quarter cup about a tablespoon of powdered sugar. I'm going to put the lid on nice and tight and we're going to give it to the man to shake. Can you shake? Shake, 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 shake. Okay, ready? Let's open the jar. We're all done. Are you excited? Let's take the lid off. Look at that. It is just nice and soft peaks. Want to try a little spoonful? More. He likes it. Alright, let's put some on your pancakes. Nice little dollop there. Perfect. We're all set. Thank uh. you. All done? Uh. All done. Here, there you go. Have uh. some. What do you uh. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. These are a hit. <laughs> Don't forget to watch every Sunday. I post new videos. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Peach Betty Morgan. Um, the whole thing is my mouth. <laughs> every day I post photos of merchandise you can purchase from Southeast Michigan Vintage stores. So please follow Southeast Michigan Vintage on Instagram as well. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Fender. Bye.